Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. How are you guys today? So, let's see. What is today? I don't even know. I know it is Sunday. <laughs> what else does Jaden know that he first woke up? Okay, so Jaden woke up at 6.35 and can't go fucking back to sleep. So, it's now like 8.30 and I'm like, fuck it. I need to get some food. <laughs> we have like no food. We have food. We don't have food. There's not one thing in the house that I'll eat. And I'm getting sick and tired of eating junk. I don't want any junk. I want real food. I want, like, meat and potatoes and corn and, I don't know, something like that. I want a hearty meal. I don't have any hearty meals. I've barely eaten in the last two days. So, it's time to go to the store and get some food, guys. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, so, the last two days I've been just working my ass off. Just trying to get stuff off of eBay. And the problem is, too, is that you have to do a lot of research and all this stuff. And the problem is, I have two limited edition kits that are sold out. You can't find them anywhere. And they're just kits. So, it's like, I don't know how much they would go for. But I know they're more money than what I paid for them. And these limited edition kits, when you first buy them, now, this they're 10 years old. I found out these are 10 years old kits. So, that that's... They're worth even more money because they're even harder to find. The other good thing about it is, is that they are, um, for, you know, they're from well-known artists, so that are still known in the community today. So um, people would want these. You know what I mean? It's not like Alex oh, is the kit from that person. You know what I mean? I mean, no, these are really good kits. One kit is the Liam kit um, by I can never say her name. I'm going to say Jonah, Jonah, and it begins with a K, ends with a K, <laughs> it's a really long name, I think she's in Africa, or South Africa, or something like that, but, um, um, I love her babies, she does silicone babies, she does reborn babies, they're so freaking expensive when it comes to silicone, we're talking like over six, seven thousand dollars for one of her babies, but her babies come with like a soft, oh wait a minute, was it her? I don't know if it was her, but one of the babies, they have, like, these soft tummies because they put some kind of different silicone in it. It's really weird. Back in those days. It's funny. Ten years ago, we heard about this, and then all of a sudden, I never heard about it again. But after Dennis died, I kind of got out of the, you know, the hobby hobby. But then the other kit that I have is the Pixie Kit, okay? You can't find this kit. And that is by Bonnie Brown. Bonnie Brown is another high-end, you know... And this lady, I think, has gone through some, some pretty hard hardship in her life. So, um, she is very good at what she does. And I love her babies. And, um, you could definitely pinpoint who does what, what baby. Um, you could kind of tell each person kind of has their own kind of, like, little thing or two or whatever. Is that a school? That's a school. And you have people fucking crossing the street, but there's no fucking crosswalk. What about the crosswalk right here, you fucking idiots? A fucking crosswalk two fucking feet away from you, and you want to fucking cross the fucking street. That's just being an asshole. That's just plainly being an asshole. And for me, I should just run you the fuck over for just being an asshole. You know, actually, to be honest with you, if you actually hit, if you're hit, if you're a pedestrian, you're hit, and you're not in a crosswalk... Well, let's just say I hit a boy uh, back when I was 22, two days before Thanksgiving, and I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't even know where the fuck I hit. I, I thought I hit a deer. I had to stop. I was, thank God, right in front of the fire department, but um, that's beside the point. A 14-year-old boy went across the street on his bike. I hit him on his bike. Didn't even see anything coming, and uh, he wasn't in a crosswalk. Um, it was dark. Uh, they were wearing dark clothing, uh, and there was no way for me. There were no lights on the on the thing, and I wasn't I wasn't distracted in any way. So they determined they determined because he was not in a crosswalk, I was not at fault. Get it? So if you are a pedestrian, get in the fucking crosswalk, and then you'll have a leg to stand on. <laughs> Anytime I fucking cross the street, I am in a fucking crosswalk to make sure I have a leg to stand on. Hey, dude, I was in a crosswalk. So, anyways, um, so the babies, 
So today I am going to try and put some silicone babies up. So today I tried to, so I'm trying to see how many I'm putting up. And yes, the day before was like five, uh, four. Uh, yes, I mean, yesterday was five. I want to put like six up today. But I'm thinking if I better have a ga better game plan and have things sorted out, maybe, maybe I'd be able to put up things faster. So I'm going to see if maybe I could get a little better game plan. It's just it takes a lot of time on you know, for eBay and putting a listing up and you have to check the, everything. You got to make sure you're putting things on right. You're not put overcharging or undercharging and blah, blah, blah. You know, so it's a bunch of bullshit. So it's like you're spending half the freaking day fucking doing research. <laughs> so, because I've been out of the, you know, but I have all kinds of stuff. We have baby stuff. We have scrapbooking stuff. We have clothing. I mean, I don't even know what else I have yet because I'm going through all my shit and I'm getting rid of all my shit. And I have so many fucking treasures. You know that, guys. But the things I am not using, I am getting rid of. And I need a car, so uh, I need a new car. And it doesn't have to be a new car. It just has to be a new car for me. Okay? It's not that I don't like this car, but guys, the bottom underneath is rusted to the point, like, when I have a guy who really knows about cars, and he's saying it's time to get a new car, I wouldn't waste any more money on this, um, it's time to get a new car. It's just that the whole bottom is rusted because I live in New England, and you fucking have salt, and you fucking ruin my vehicles, but this also is a 17-year-old car now, so I'm afraid to fucking drive now afraid to go anywhere, afraid to go too far, afraid to go anywhere by myself, I won't go anywhere that far by myself now, um, and afraid of being stuck somewhere, have nobody to depend on now, so it's not like I'm gonna be like, oh, who do I fucking call, I have nobody, nobody to call, fuck my family, my family just fucking, you know, plays fucking mind games with me, and fucking just gets me into like, oh, when can, when can you help me, when can you help, fuck you, okay, I am done with my family, I am so angry with all of them right now, I won't talk to them, like, my mom tried talking to me this past week, and I'm like, I don't even want to talk to you, I don't want to talk to you, I'm like, sorry, you know, it was like last week, it was Dennis's week, and I just used Dennis as an excuse, I'm like, I don't really fucking want to talk to you, lady, like, seriously, I am so disgusted with people, I am realizing things, I know it took me, like, 42 years, and I, that's, how much I realize I am autistic because there are so many things I don't understand and sex is one of them. <laughs> so, um, but there's so many things I don't understand. Like when I watch TV, when you guys watch TV, I don't understand any of what you're watching. I realize that. Like I thought I understood what I was watching, but watching TV with Chris, especially in the news, like I'm like, what do they just say? And he tells me, I'm like, that's not what I thought of her, but okay. <laughs> you know, like, I'm like, I totally didn't understand. I'm like, what did they just say? I had no idea what they just said. He's like, that teacher said this, that, and the other. I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm like, I didn't understand that. And then, like, in, in movies, it's like, or TV shows, I'm like, dude, I totally, I'm so ADHD, it's ridiculous. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm going to go get some food. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, guys, so... It didn't work out here. Why do I come here? I don't know why I come here thinking it's going to work out. Like, Shaw's is more expensive. Like, I don't know why. But, guys, why are they overcharging, okay? I can go to BJ's and buy three um, bacons for eleven ninety nine. okay? They wanted nine ninety nine for one here. Like, what the fuck? It's just outrageous that you want me to pay you all that money for a little piece of bacon that... Mostly is fat. <laughs> like what the fuck? That's something. Something's wrong with that picture, people. We're paying for fat. So I don't know. Chris and I want bacon this morning. So whatever. Threw it out there. He's like, oh yeah, that sounds good. I kind of. He was like tossing and turning. And I was waking up. I mean, I was like heading out, and instead of me writing a letter to him, usually I, I just like, okay, I went to the store. And this is what I did. Blah blah blah. And I'll be back. Coffee's ready. You know, but uh, today I just told him because he was turning over. I was like, I'm just letting you know I'm going to the store. And he, then we started <laughs> talking about food. He's like, Really? Why? And he thought I bought like um, cream cheese the other day, and I didn't. 
I went to the store but never bought it. He's like, really? You gotta go cream cheese again? And I'm like, no, I didn't buy it the other day. <laughs> but, um, no, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to really downsize and be careful of what I buy. That includes with food. So I'm trying to make, like, our food stamps last us the entire month, if not more. So I'm trying to be really careful of buying food. I'm not trying to overbuy there are certain things that are better buy to buy a BJ's. It's just going to cost you more money, but it, you have it. The, the thing that sucks is that I just can't see getting one for ten dollars when I could buy have two more for a, two more dollars. So that is why I'm going to BJ's. We also want sausage, so you can buy like a big bag of sausages and have as many sausages as I want. So, and you know what I might be able to find there? Hash browns, maybe. The patties, hash brown patties. It's so funny. I never liked those before. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, right here. Mm. I had to think about where I was for a second. I'm not used to going down this way. I mean, I know this area, but I'm not used to going that way all the time. So, when I come back, I'm like, where am I? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, um... Not much has been going on. I mean, you guys have to understand. I mean, you might think, like, work's been going on. I've had no work, okay? Since I came back from vacation of last September, there's barely been any work every month. I've had a little bit of work in October, a little bit of work in November, barely any work in December, January, and February. Uh, barely anything in March. Nothing in April, like barely anything in April, if anything in April, and then had three weeks of work in 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 uh, May. Oh, big fucking wolf. So, business has been struggling. Like people think, like, oh, just because I have I have a business, so I make money. No, there's no money. I was actually losing money, not making money. So I was trying to get a better game plan. And the thing is, is if you have to make money and spend money and make money and spend money, there's no reason to doing it. So, right now, I'm... And the other thing, too, that you guys have to understand is eBay is something I wanted to do. Um, I had... Well, it's not eBay. It was Etsy, but I can't do Etsy, so I'm going to do eBay. I don't give a fuck. I'm one or the other. I don't give a fuck. So, I'm doing eBay. eBay, I got to say, it's easier. Um, it does cost a little bit more money, I think. But it has much better customer service. You could talk to a fucking person. That, I mean, you could get answers. I mean, if something happens on Etsy, you're fucked. I don't know. You can't even call a one and under number to to call somebody. And I even had my grandfather back in the day when he was still alive. He was, thinks he could do everything. I mean, this guy could find anything. I mean, that's what he did. I mean, he he he, he could find information that you couldn't find. And he's like, dude, there is no information. About that website, there's no way to get a customer service number. He's like, I don't know what the fuck, to, I don't know what you want. Because he's like, there, there's no way. I mean, that, that, that's sucky service. So, because basically what happened was, is somebody um, tried to buy something. So I had a bunch of people buying stuff. I had people buying stuff. Everything was going fine. And all of a sudden, it... The money wouldn't go in my bank, and I don't know why. I don't know what was going on. I tried to put the bank information on again, whatever. So I was like, fuck it. I guess I have to go to eBay, and eBay has better customer service. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't care. You know, so... I mean, I like that the listings are free, but I think e eBay is a little bit more expensive when it comes to the seller um, than e Etsy, but... Either way, it's probably, you know, it's just a percentage. I just don't know what the percentage is. But it does help. They're, they're, they're the ones actually getting your product out there. They are the ones that kind of, you know, they're doing a lot of the work, too. So, um, you know, we're, we're basically paying for our stuff to be on their website. So that's basically the fee that we're paying. But, um, all right, I'm going to go to PJ's. I gotta hurry up, because it's gonna fucking rain. And I just need a BJ's, because I already got cream cheese. I need bacon, uh, butter, and then I need sausage. And I think that's it, but I'll just check. I think that's all I'll do. That's all I need. Those three things. 
what to do about dinner. I might find something maybe for dinner. I did get something for dinner, but I just don't know if that's what I want for dinner. I'll eat it if that's what I have to have for dinner, but... So what I was trying to do is I'm also trying to go, like, without. So, like, I asked Chris, I said, you know, you like this cream cheese and I like that cream cheese. I said, what if I do the Philadelphia, but we do the whip? So that way we're not buying two different cream cheese, you know? Um, same thing with milk. Like, I enjoy the Hood's milk. It's a New England brand. I happen to like that milk better than a regular any other milk. So instead of spending, if you're going to spend a certain amount of money on something, you might as well spend it on something you enjoy. But if you're buying milk all the time, then it's a different story. But when you're someone who's, you know, one gallon a week, I mean, maybe two a week, and that's it for two people, like, it's not that big of a deal. But I'm just really trying to downsize, so I, and, and trying to make, go without, so like, I'd cut my own hair, I'm trying to like do that shit, and then I'm, I am going to try and work part time. Um, I basically, right now, I'm just, Giving, right now I'm giving Chris a break because Chris's back's hurting him. My back's hurting me. So I'm kind of just giving Chris a, a break. It's the summer, you know? Let him rest and relax. Um, I think that he needs to go in a different direction. I don't think that building houses is going to work for us. I think smaller scale doesn't mean we can't make money and we can't do it ourselves, but I think we just have to look at a smaller scale. So, like, you know, additions and, you know, maybe porches and, you know, decks and stuff and, you know, fixer-uppers, shit like that, painting jobs, uh, I don't mind painting jobs as long as it's, you know, and then, I mean, I don't like, I don't mind construction jobs as long as Chris and I are working good as a team together, which usually 90% of the time we do. And I demon told him, and he laughed at me. I said to him, I go, you know, for the most part, I said, I said, for the most part, I said, not only do we actually communicate better than most people, I said, we get along better than most people. I said, we're around each other all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we don't get on each other. I mean, we bother each other, of course. That's what friends are for, but <laughs> we don't really... We don't wait to get on each other's nerves. We, you know, and I try to watch what I do because I can get on someone's nerves in a second if I try, <laughs> you know. And sometimes, see, the thing is, is, I talk out loud to myself. So not having privacy and being able to do that and having someone else there, he always thinks I'm talking to him. And I am talking out loud. If you want to listen, go ahead. But if you don't want to, don't worry about it. <laughs> Because I'm, like, on to the next thing. Like, he's stopping me when I'm talking. You know, he wants to talk about what I just stopped to talk about or said. When I'm already on the next conversation already. So, it's hard. <laughs> My ADD is, like, literally, I got music, talk to you at the same time, and probably do a YouTube video. <laughs> like, hey, guys. Yeah, how are you? How are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. And I'm more like a homebody. Like, I don't know. I've been having a lot of, like... Like, things have been going on for me. Like, uh... I started this new medication that I used to take a long time ago. But I was never on it for this long. And I'm on a high dose. Well, not a high dose, but I'm on one milligram. And for a long period of time. And I went... I was, like, at two and a four and a one... And it was getting very, like, I've noticed emotion, my, my girl self, I guess you could say, the emotions of me are wacky. So, and then I'm noticing, like, it's messing with my words, and then it messes with my movements. So, like, our body, like, for example, you can think something and not do it, you know? When I think it, I'm doing it. So, because I'm ADHD, my brain's already like, okay, pass that to me. You know? But in reality, I'm like, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. Like, 
my brain told me something and I I had to tell myself well, that's not what I'm trying to do <laughs> so it was like impulse control I'm noticing impulse control is hard um certain impulse like I mean like you know a, a, a movement of the arm <laughs> um cause it's involuntary movements that I do now so good news is that um, there's a new counselor who actually called me. I called them back in January. And finally, in July, somebody is finally available. Like, the people that I've been working with for the last six months, I've been seeing a peer counselor, so he's not even a real counselor, waiting to see a counselor. I actually got to see both, so I couldn't see them both and see her, too. But it depends on how much time in a day you have, right? Now, um, my peer counselor, like, isn't very dependable. Like, I, I'm texting him back and forth. I'm not getting any texts back. Um, I'm trying to set up schedule time, and I get nothing. I mean, I could call the office, which I'm going to have to do by Monday. I mean... It's either you talk to me or you don't talk to me. So I'm going to kind of see where this lady brings me because I feel it's important as a trans man to both see a male doctor and a female doctor. Why? Because this way you have a female who can understand the female parts of you and you could talk about that out. And then you have the guy counselor who can talk about the guy stuff and the guy end of it. Now, you can't talk about that with a girl. You can't talk about guy stuff with a girl. And you can't talk about girl stuff with a guy. It just doesn't work. But, you know, you see, you can talk about it with both. It's pretty freaky when you try to do it in front of them, though. Holy crap. When you try to actually talk to a girl and a guy at the same time, at their level, at the same time, and actually show them that, they freak out at that. And for me, I've found... I've learned very young in life to, um, I've had to learn how to adapt to people, so I don't know how to talk to people, I don't know how to start conversations, a lot of times you hear the word sorry for me because I don't know what to say, like what else do I say to you, and I, I think I always feel apologetic, um, I think, um, my PTSD as a child created that, <laughs> um, but I'm always saying sorry, and people are like, you don't have to say sorry, and it's just like, you know, it's it's a big word that I say, I mean, I think I say that, I say that more than the F word, and some people know I say the F word, I don't really say the F word that much anymore, believe it or not, I don't know, I don't really have anything to swear about, I guess, <laughs> but, um, I, I find that, that, um, trying to stay on task here. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. See? <laughs> um, so, about talking, it was, we were talking about um, people, <laughs> uh, how I talk to people, and um, I, I think that, I, see, I, I lost my train of thought there. Um, but, okay, give me one second. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, I actually had to watch the ending of the video, so I just watched, I stopped it so I could continue talking about what we were talking about. Isn't that bad? When Jaden's that ADHD that I can't even keep track. So anyways, I was talking about how, um, I don't know how to talk to people. And, um, I have a hard time starting conversation I have a hard time with um, um, with interactions with people. People like my expressions. So I have such a hard time with my thought process and then getting my words out in my mouth. That's why I have what's called receptive and expressive language disorder. That means that I have a hard time perceiving what you are telling me, and that means it's hard for me to get my words out and express myself. 
That's what the disorder is. I'm also dyslexic. But now I have found out through my doctor that I am also have Asperger. He said for the stuff that you have between your your um, food issue and your um, sensitivity to touch or, t- you know, like texture and stuff and your sleeping, dis- you know, disturbances and all the other stuff. He's like, yeah, you definitely are on the spectrum. So now it's trying to get tested for that because what I want to do is get tested so I can get tested positive so now I can get services that I need because I, no one's been helping me my whole entire life. Everybody's always told me I can't do this and I can't do that and I can't do this instead of encouraging me or showing me or helping me get there. What I finally realized is nobody gives a fuck about anybody. That's the sad thing in life. No one gives a shit about you. People want to be your friends. Nobody don't. They don't really want to be your friends because they don't really want you to succeed. They just want to succeed. They don't want you to succeed. Same thing with my family. They don't want me to succeed. They just want to be middle class. They just want it. But they want me to be the fucking loser and not have what they have. Fuck you. I'm tired of it. You know? And um, it's, it's that... Uh, I finally want to have services. So there are so many things, basic things, computer things I don't even know. I can't even figure out the basic shit on a computer because I can't, one, read it, two, understand it, three, ADHD, can't fucking sit still, people. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Like, it is so hard for me. It was so hard for me for two days. Now, don't get me wrong. It was something I enjoyed. That's what I didn't mind about it. I worked 16 hours both days because I worked from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed and barely and didn't barely even eat. I barely even smoked weed. I was just enjoying myself. Ah, picture this and this and this and then put the thing. And, but I'm so ADD. I need to do something every two seconds. I got to move. I got to this and that and this and that and that. And go, okay. And then I, I just, I can't be on my phone all day. It just doesn't work for me. I can't sit still. So, I mean, and then I'm so hyped up just to start with. I have to, like, smoke weed just to get normal. Semi-normal. I don't even get high. I get normal. You know, and the other thing, too, is no one wants to put me on an ADD medication, which fucking sucks, okay? You guys have to understand... I've been on an ADHD medication since I was like 12 years old, okay? I found what worked, which was Concerta. Um, there was, the, the problem is because I'm on testosterone, it can accept the mania off because of manic. But guys, the ADHD has already set the mania off. I feel manic all the time because the ADHD just makes me feel like my heart is pumping out of my chest every second of every day. My brain is thinking so much. I am so exhausted. It's thinking about five different, it's probably thinking of a million different things all at one time. I'm waking up crying. I'm going to bed crying because my mind is so overwhelmed. It never calms down. It never sleeps. It wakes me up in the middle of the night thinking again. It's like, fuck, I couldn't even go back to sleep. I woke up at 635, tossing, turning, tossing, turning. Brain started, 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 started up. So enough is enough. But listen, I got to get going, guys. (laughs) I'll talk to you in a few seconds, okay, on the way home. But, um, Yeah, a lot of it is just now I'm starting to realize that no one cares about anybody. They just care about themselves because they want to have the money. If they show you how to do it, then they're afraid that you're going to you're going to take money away from them or something. I don't know. But why wouldn't somebody for, you know, take take some time. If you're really my friend, take some time. Don't just tell me to do something. Show me how to do it. I finally have a friend, but he only knows so much, that shows me how to do something. Because he watched me for like two years just doing stupid shit. And he's like, does he not know how to do this stuff right? So he finally sat there and showed me. He's like, he's like, look at all your stuff you have. He's like, why, why have it if you don't use it? So I, I was like, you're right. 
So it really got me thinking. So I've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of awareness this year. I'm realization, and like this has been a really big emotional turning point for me. Um, I feel like I have nobody. Like I am nobody that I could that I like. I don't feel loved by anybody. Family, I mean friends. No one gives a shit about you when you're in trouble. But if they need something, they expect you to be there. So, enough is enough. I'm not worrying about people anymore. I got to just worry about myself. You know, my whole entire life, I always gave the shirt off my back for someone else. And now it's my turn. So, I'm just going to keep plugging away. And I'm going to do my thing the best I can do. And everybody can mind their own business that's in my family. If you don't want to be part of my life, then don't ask me how my life is going. Simple as that. I'm not going to tell you what's going on. Don't ask me about my car. Don't ask me about my friends. Don't ask me about anything, you know? Because the thing is, just because they're... I was thinking about that last night. I'm like, you can't try and tell me you love me when my whole entire life... They have not liked one of my friends just because they were my friends. My friends. I'm serious. Like, my friends. So if you're my friend, my friend, my family don't like you. Automatically. If you like me, they don't like you. <laughs> so if you like me, I'm sorry. My family doesn't like you. Because they're fucking retarded. I mean, it's retarded. But anyways, I'm going in here. i got to get a couple things and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I am back. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. You sometimes, that's why I like going in the morning. When I go in the morning, it's not too bad. Not too many people. You can kind of do your own thing. I can sing and not really give a fuck about anybody. People will listen. I don't really care. <laughs> that's what I did. I don't give a fuck. Sometimes I don't care. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Well, it's funny. Before transitioning, I would never do that. Now, not so bad. But, it's, you think that it's easier transitioning and it it really isn't it's just a different different complications more complications I don't know it's just you, you feel do I regret it you know the thing is I hate my body so much I think no matter what I did it wouldn't matter I was born the wrong sex no matter what I do to my body will not change that I was fucking born the wrong sex and I will never be the man that I was supposed to be born as so you know, and the thing is, though, I've noticed, so now that I've transitioned, I think it's easier for me to, I'm finding that I'm trying to work on uh, being okay with different things that would be girly. So my whole entire life, I had to Avoid, avoid at all costs. This is a girl. This is that's a girl thing. That's a girl thing. Up, you're gay. Up, this and that. That, that, you know. So everything was dictated to me. What was girl and what wasn't. Now I was thinking about this because my friend Chris does this, and he's not gay, and he's a straight, a very, a very straight man. But he crosses his legs, and in my, me growing up, I'm thinking about it. now. My dad, my dad, dad did it when I was growing up. But my stepfather and my brothers didn't. So I think for me, and my dad was out of my life by the time I was like 12. Like he was out and out, you know what I mean? Like not really just not there. Actually, he was kind of out of my life by 10, but like really out of my life by like 12, I think. And I mean, we have a relationship, but not really. We don't have much of a relationship at all. So he did when I was younger, but I didn't really use him as a a role model Uh, my stepfather was more my role model and then I looked up to my brothers I look up to everybody because I am short (laughs) but that's literally but I look up to them but now so they didn't do that so in my mind you know crossing your legs was a gay thing when it's not it's not I see a lot of straight men doing it and I have to get out of my mind so basically what I've done to myself is I've programmed my mind to think things that actually aren't true and that isn't realistic 
but I have made my own world and it's a nightmare in it. And I, um, hold on. yeah, I don't need to, I just need to park. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach myself that it's okay to like things you might not have wanted to try and like before, you know what I mean? So like I bought a shirt, it had pink on it. It was a pink whale. I actually like my shirt, you know? So it's stuff like that. Um, it, we could go into more conversation with this, but um, basically um, I am trying to, I'm finding a new me, okay? So I'm kind of like, getting different layers and adding new layers and I mean I am people ask me questions guys I don't know any questions okay you ask me something my old self will know I don't know you're asking my old self me and my old self don't we're not we don't really you know we're not really the same people and everybody keeps treating me like I'm that person and I'm not that fucking person anymore and leave me the fuck alone and those people are gonna be out of my life completely because I said in five years if people can't start start respect if people can't respect me by the fifth year after transitioning I'm done and this is it this is the fifth year this is actually it will make six years come September so I'm done with people that don't want to be part of my life I'm done wasting my time on people I have I you know what we don't have enough time in a day so I'd rather just deal with my stuff and not have to deal with fucking people so um, but anyways, I'm going to get going. I'm going to get this stuff in. I will talk to you guys later. I will try and show you guys at some point, um, the stuff that I've already put up on, on eBay. And I'm going to do that after today. So then that way you'll be able to see some of the things that, and then this way, hopefully if I show you guys these things on video, you'll be able to go, Oh, I really want that. And you go right to eBay, you know, make it really simple for the both of us. So, um, but that's it, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like down below. Where is my... There it is. Don't forget to like down below. Uh, what is it? <laughs> see. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys back in the next time. How's that? All right, guys. See you guys back in the next time. Have a good day, guys.